compactor design is a great example of a fairly sophisticated assembly in the oil and gas industry. Let's take a look at the slip design and understand the steps that a designer would take to model and detail this for machining. 2D lathe profiles can be imported from DWG and reused out of a library for similar shape designs. They can be revolved easily to create the base geometry. 3D geometry can also be stored in a library for designs such as these slip teeth and reused and patterned and mirrored to complete the lathe geometry. The desired slip can be cut from this lathe geometry with a simple 2D cut extrude. Adding additional planes as reference geometry is easy as SOLIDWORKS understands combinations of geometry that are sufficient to define a plane. The hole wizard is a great way to create holes or slots to industry standard. To document the manufacturing steps required to produce the slip, configurations can be used to define the final geometry as well as the geometry will be lathed. A configuration can also be added to communicate the yield of the cut slips by patterning the geometry and leaving enough space for the cuts. 2D drawings are still an important way to communicate the geometry and quality requirements. 2D views are displayed in the drawing palette and can be dragged out into the drawing. Section views and isometrics are just as easy to communicate. The configurations can be used to show the finished component, including any required projected views. Creating detailed views is as easy as drawing a circle and dimensions can be added using the powerful Smart Dimensioning tool. Having intelligent tools like Smart Dimensioning has had a very positive impact on how easy SOLIDWORKS has been for new users to pick up and has been a direct contributor to its mass adoption in the oil and gas industry. Let's finish off this drawing with a few notes and share the drawing with the powerful e-drawing package which can be used by recipients to mark up and send feedback on the designs from their computer or iPad without a SOLIDWORKS license. Adding this component to the assembly is incredibly easy and patterns can be used to add the required slips throughout the design. Finally, creating a quarter cross-section cut of the design can be a powerful way of communicating how the components interact to assist with assembly, operations, and even sales.